Hello guys and welcome back to StarMate on the Star Squadron server. This is Fuse MC. As you can see, my plate looks a little bit busy. I got a lot going on. I like these new uh, turret access rails. You can park your ship and turn them whichever way. Which, if you've ever ridden motorcycles, um, usually when you pull into a parking spot, you I don't know, just naturally turn it sideways. But I got all my robots here and they're all facing other directions. Now, the turrets, turret access points are supposed to turn the turrets back to their default position after they're no longer in combat, but they don't seem to do that. So that works for me because my robots stay here facing the right direction. But today, we're going to look at this. This is a carousel. Um, a little bit hard to get on, but once you have a seat, you are good to go. Now I got the light set up with some basic timing blocks and her timers and uh, the rotation is set to I think 30% but with the mass it still turns very slow which once again works for me. So we're going to take a look at this from above. Now I was over working on guy's plate. Um, Last night I had stripped off all the robots and uh, the docking modules so that as soon as everybody's ready that can be converted over because he's got quite a few over there. I actually went ahead and pulled off a few of the others and changed them out for turret access or access points. And... Uh, got them ready to go so that all he has to do is there I believe are three ships over there that need to be done and that's it including the beacon sy system I got which I put the beacon system on a rotator block because I'm going to make that rotate for him and we're possibly going to be redesigning a new one for a spotlight system which I may go ahead and work on here shortly but as you can see, I did this kind of plane because I'm not sure this is where I'm going to keep it. Um, so I did the light setup and the rotation. I did the platform. Now I learned something doing this. If you're going to do this, build your work area below where your, all your timing blocks and stuff are going to go before you start this. Because... This is what I ended up doing to uh, make the system, and I wish I would have actually done it, you know, cleared it out first, so that I had it cleared out and lit up. So, yeah. But over here, this is set to continuously turn, and if for some reason it stops, all I have to do is hit this. And that will start it up again. Um, we also have a block over here to do the same thing. And we have a switch up here for the lights. I was thinking about taking the lights all the way to the roof. But I got a few lights here in the roof that that would cover. And I figured that would be kind of pointless. So, But if at any time they stop, then all you have to do is to hit that. Now, that seems to be working good. It doesn't have any reset issues or anything like that. So that's pretty good. Where is this thing here seems to have stopped. I'm not sure why. These rails I think I'm gonna convert this over to just one stationary elevation because those elevations really mess it up so yeah that's going to have to be changed over to one elevation so that 
I don't have to worry about that as uh, once I log out and log back in later if this is on its way around it will get messed up if uh, or it'll stop and then uh, like here I logged in went and did some stuff came back decided to give it a run around and in doing so it stopped there so that still seems to be a little bit glitchy when you log out and the area unloads. So that I'm going to have to work on. Like I said, I'll probably change it over to one elevation and it'll be level with this most likely. So that that way I don't have to deal with that. Because it's not really much fun having to deal with that all the time. Another thing, uh, speed controls detach themselves from the rail um, if you watched yesterday's video I believe it'll be yesterday's video I went through and connected all these and it was second or third time it took to connect them and as you can see none of them are connected so let's go over here and take a look at this one because this one is a high-speed elevator that one seems to stay connected. So that's not a big deal. You see. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this. Um, we're going to take a look at a few things today. Uh, that elevator over there is going to be one. Um, that one over there is a basic elevator, just a platform, at kind of high speed. It's kind of funny because it actually goes down faster than gravity will pull you down. But this one here, we have the basic call button, which brings it down. And then we have this. Let me face so I can show you. That doesn't work? Huh. That's not good. Not sure what happened there. Okay, so we're going to have to take a look at that. That's not good. Hmm. Well, it brings it up. Oops. Let's see if it brings it back down. All right, as you can see, the doors are closed. It's bringing it down. Doors open. Hmm. there and that that is connected alrighty so we are going to have to Hmm. All right, let me figure this out. All right, let's give this one more shot. So we're going to call the elevator. And it's going to come down. I got this on a high-speed rail also. So this should be up. And uh, as you can see, I was playing with that. And so now we are up, and up here you have a button that is the elevator to get to the ship and then we have down so as you can see it starts to leave you behind and as soon as you're down the doors open up all right so that works and I'll fill that in later let's go take a look at this one 
Um, that one for the one just for some reason the wireless disconnected. And I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna cover it up later, but for right now I'm just gonna leave it open. I'll probably log in and out a few times and test it. So new update. There's gonna be bugs, and you know they can't work out everything all at once. Now this is like really dark. So we're going to have to light it up. But it works. And this just kind of feels like you're hauling butt. A little bit laggy um, with the new system, but there's so much going on right now that what could you expect? Alright, so we have a call elevator button and a ground level button. And that takes you down. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now this is where every time I'd, yeah, see it's kind of leaving, leaving me behind and then I fall onto it. So yeah, it actually goes down faster than what gravity will pull you down. That's pretty cool. I've got one more elevator to do as far as complete projects. I got this one here, which I have a stairway going up. But this one here is going to be a little more complex. It's going to be a multi-floor elevator. So that one, I'm hoping that it will be very simple and I don't have to use too much wireless because I don't want to... I don't want to have to be connecting and reconnecting it unless they get that bugginess fixed because if I have to do that every time I log in and log out then it will basically become useless because I won't I won't want to take the time to do that so I have to go recover my little trolley cart over there or tram cart over there but that's going to be it for now and uh, next video, we're going to take a look at something that is probably the funnest project I've done with the rails so far as far as uh, simplicity, but kind of unique and interesting, and I enjoyed it. So we're going to take a look at that next, and we'll be back then. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.